Hello, today I want to talk a little bit about the importance of having a website for your books and for you as an author. Uh, in my particular case, I have bandwagononline.com. I have one specifically for Relic Worlds, and I'm considering doing one for it's jeffmacarthurauthor.com. I'm not 100% certain. I'm debating on that one, but I'm going to tell you the argument that I've heard for that one, and you choose for yourself. Okay, so Bandwagon Online is basically my publishing website. Now, as self-publishers, essentially it's important for us to consider the fact that we have these two different dichotomies. There's us as authors, and there's us as publishers. I try to have those two be separate. I don't just have the, the Jeff MacArthur as an author type of thing. I try to always make sure that there is a bandwagon presence. So if you look on Facebook, you're going to see bandwagon, and you're going to see Jeff MacArthur, and the two are separate. On Twitter, I have them as separate. Um, now, as for a website, I just have Bandwagon, and that is the different books and all that sort of thing. Um, but in general, what I try to do is I try to make it so, okay, the Bandwagon stuff talks specifically about publishing and about releasing books and what I currently have out, what I'm planning to have out, etc., etc. Whereas as an author, I try to talk about the craft of writing. Um, and he also, by the way, keeps my own head straight as the two of them. You know? But anyway, so the... Uh, Jeff MacArthur author is more of the artist, more of the uh, creating the books and putting them together. And I talk more about creating them and putting them together, whereas as a publisher I try to talk about releasing them. And this particular thing goes out on my bandwagon site, on the publishing site, because that's more about what I'm talking about, is working as a, uh, as a publisher. Every now and then I'll talk about the writing as well. The two are going to cross over, etc., but for the most part that's the, the, the way I separate them. So, with the website, I, that's why I have the bandwagon as the website because all the books that are published are up there. Um, and when I want to send information to people about the books and the information about them and where they are and et cetera, et cetera, and what's coming out when, uh, I want them to go to that particular site. As an author page, it would be just about me and what I'm doing. And for the most part, here's my life. Type, type. Occasionally a cat comes up and bugs me. Type, type, type cat molests my head type type that's my life you know as, as a writer um i'll you know talk about what i'm writing but i don't also don't want to give too much away because i want people to read the stories so i don't really have enough to put in there for the most part as an author separate from a publisher so that, that's like i say that's what although some people have said it's a here's the argument in favor of it oftentimes they say well if people want to look you up it makes you more searchable on google which is true the more times you have yourself so and so author the more it comes, the more it kind of bugs Google to say, hey, this person's a thing, this person's a thing, you know, this person's somehow important because, you know, they're, they're, they're showing up in all these places. So if you, you know, you want to make a presence uh, page on Facebook, you want to put one on Twitter, you want to have, uh, I don't have Instagram because it's like, again, yeah, photographs of me sitting there writing. We, um, Goodreads, but, you know, you just have yourself pop up more and more times and an author page or an author website would do that. So that might be something that I'll need, be needing to do in the future. Uh, I may be there while you're watching this. I, who knows? But anyway, um, the, the importance of having uh, the site of some sort, and in my case, Bandwagon Books, is the fact that because the books are up there listed, when I write to somebody, I don't have to, or when I write email them, or when I talk to them in person, um, you generally don't have enough time to sit there and tell them all these different things and show them all the pictures you want to show, you have enough time to grab their attention, tell them a little bit more, and then you want to send them somewhere that, that they can look at at their leisure. Um, especially as authors, we're oftentimes not the best at, uh, at fast talk, and so it's best for us not to sit there and talk and talk and talk about our products. It's best for us to have the confidence enough to go, hey, there's this thing, and I think you'd like it, and here's the reason why, short, very short, as to why they would, you know, that, that particular person would like it, maybe they're in the region, maybe it's a subject matter that, you know, they're into. If there's nothing, you know, don't BS them, don't, you know, there's no reason for you to be telling them about it, but if there is a connection, give them that connection, and then you want to be able to send them somewhere. Give them a card that says, go to this site, and then have let the site have it, and then that way that person, at their leisurely time, can go through it and look at what they want to look at. And really, the, the best person to pitch something is the person themselves. So what do I mean by that? Well, if I'm trying to tell Bob over here, hey, you know, you're going to really want this stuff, the best person to pitch to Bob 
is Bob. Because, uh, you know, Bob can convince himself better than you can. And so what's best is to give, let the information be there, give the information to Bob, you know, and if he goes to it, for he will then decide what to look at. And what I mean by Bob's the best person to pitch to Bob is because, let's say you're trying to tell him all this stuff, you don't know which pictures he's going to want to see first. You don't know what's going to attract him first. It's best to just have it there and then let Bob choose what to look at and what to find important and what not to find important. Because then he will determine what's the most important thing to uh, look at and to, um, to, to, you know, let he'll convince himself better than you ever can, basically. Um, so that's the reason it's important to have a website with your stuff because most of the time you're only going to have enough time to tell somebody, hey, here's the basic idea, go and look at it for yourself. Um, I have Bandwagon Online, uh, and the reason it's Bandwagon Online instead of Bandwagon Books is because I actually am doing some other things as well, uh, but I wound up making the, the website focus mostly on the books because I was having it be de too defocused for a while, There's, which is another important thing. Keep it focused on what you know they're going to want. Basically, think about the person you're pitching it to and what they're going to want to see when they go to it. Originally, when I had books and games and da 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 books, games, videos was the initial thing, and then I had it going all over the place. I started thinking from the point of view of somebody I'm trying to have a look at it. You know, they're going to go in there and like a lot of them are not ga gamers necessarily, and they're not a lot of them are not into videos, so they're going to be like, why is all this other stuff here? You want to direct them as quickly as possible. In fact, there's something that says about people will click twice before they give up on you. So. You want them to go pretty quickly. In fact, on the bandwagon site, I will have um, in the spotlight, and as like the main book that I happen to be pitching the most of that time, the one that I'm writing to people the most about during that particular time period, um, because I want them to see it right away, and I want them to click on it, and I want them to go right away to it. I don't want them going around, you know, oh, well, maybe it's here, maybe it's there, because they'll lose interest. So have a website that you can hand something to the people, even give Q, have a QR code. People go immediately to it, and have what you want them to see quickly, easily to quick click, never more than two clicks away from it, uh, and, and then let the site itself do the pitching for you. Most important thing. But always remember to look at it from the point of view of the, of the person you are wanting to look at the site. That's about it for uh, right now. Thank you for watching, and I will see you soon. Read more independent books.